Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is a wonderful Monday <laughs> and the clocks did go back. Well, I know they went back here in LA and America, so I'm happy. I did get an extra hour of sleep, even though I don't think I slept that well at all that night. I was just happening. I was like tossing and turning all night. I watched a little bit too much Scooby-Doo. <laughs> I've kind of got back into Scooby-Doo, I'm not going to lie. I loved it when I was growing up and I think now I'm just obsessed with it again. <laughs> it helps me go to sleep. I don't know why, it just is. So I'm just going to keep going with it. <laughs> but I just want to say I hope you're having a great day um, and I hope you have a fabulous weekend. So as you all know that this Saturday and Sunday was Dapper Day at Disney. Um, they do a spring one and they do a fall one at Disneyland in Anaheim, in California. And we did go to the April one, the spring one, and we did manage to go to the fall one. Um, we did only go to the Saturday because we couldn't make out on a Sunday because Maverick wasn't feeling too well. I had to catch up with some work and family stuff and I kind of started to feel like I was coming under the weather too with the cold. So I thought I was managing. I genuinely did. I thought, okay, I'm not going to get the cold, even though I'm taking care of Maverick and... He's been ill with it. I'm just like, I'm going to power on, but I think it's starting to get me, you guys. But I'm trying to tell myself, no, I've been taking so much vitamin C and probiotics and everything and sanitizing everything. So hopefully, fingers crossed, that I don't come down with the cold because that's not going to be good. <laughs> I hate when you get the colds, right? And then you get like, I don't know, a dry nose and then you have a blocked nose, you can't sleep. It's the worst right but I did hear from a lot of people that it's kind of going around so fingers crossed I don't get it but anyway I'm going off topic so when we got to um, Disneyland to go to Dapper Day we got there around 3 30 and I know Dapper Day is on till 7 I thought it was only open till 5 but then we got told it was open till 7 so that was even better <laughs> um, and usually what they do is you go in and they have um, in their big hall they have lots of stores and things like that little booths set up you can get tattoos i didn't even know you could get tattoos until this year <laughs> um so you can get tattoos you can get your hair cut and your hair um done in different styles from the 50s 40s 30s things like that um and then you can get there's makeup booths there's loads of clothes you guys there seems to be a lot more repro clothes than true vintage clothes um so it just depends on what you're into so if you would rather have more repro then it's really really good for that and if you dry more true vintage then I think it's starting to kind of not have as much true vintage which is kind of sad because I love going there to find some really cool true vintage pieces but this year there wasn't that many um that I could say that was there so it's kind of sad but the repro stuff is really really cool um we got to go around all the stores and um, seen lots of nice things and also dapper day they have their own pins and their own clothing items, things like that you can find. Because I know Tatiana, they designed the Dapper Day fall um, clothing line this year. And it looked so, so cute. It's like based on Peter Pan and it's so, so cute, you guys. You guys have to check it out. And if I can, I will put a picture here for you so you can see it. <laughs> because it's so cute that you guys have to, have to see it. So what they do is Dapper Day the first day is just based on the expo and then the second day on the Sunday they go into the park dress in their clothes and you go ride the rides and then the expo is still on and it's on till seven at night again. So it's a really good day. You get to meet a lot of people. I got to meet some of you lovely people which was so amazing and I felt so bad because I was saying to Mavic I feel like I'm getting the cold so when I first walked in I was like I don't feel so good you guys <laughs> but I thought I was like I don't want to like let anybody down so I hope that <laughs> I hope I was okay <laughs> I always worry about that thing I'm like I hope I'm <laughs> you know I'm okay in person um but even when I was feeling ill I was like I have to keep powering on so it was fine <laughs> I think I did okay um and I did speak to a lot of you about some ghost things which was fun you know I always love that stuff which was good um but this year I didn't even pick up anything I didn't buy anything and that is not like me usually I find something I did find a really cute sweater from Stardew Vintage um and it's just like all my other sweaters but this time it was like a tan brown so I was kind of in love with it and I'm like it's starting to get cold now and now the clocks have changed and the sun is about to set so I'm like okay sweater season is coming back even though I'm wearing this really cute dress that I got from Motel Rocks so I'm like mm. I just like the feeling of it it's kind of like a satin so I'm like <laughs> but anyway I'm drifting off um, and Mavic got some shoes from Remix Vintage which he had been waiting for for a long time 
so he was happy with that and pretty much you guys so we were meant to be there the full time but we decided that we would park in the Disneyland car park um, instead of going into the theme park car park and we had to get V out within three hours we had to get validation and because we were talking so much it got to the three hour mark and we were like oh we have to run to the park so we ran and then there was this big line to get through security and we were like we're not going to make it we managed to get it make it i got some crisps from starbucks and maverick got a gift card so we can make up the 20 dollars that you had to pay to get it um reimbursed whatever it was not reimbursed which got validated um and then we got out so we literally had to run out so i'm so sorry that we didn't get to say goodbye to all of you but it wasn't because we were trying to run away from you guys it was generally we didn't want to pay 42 dollars for parking and then get fined or whatever for overstaying so we managed to get out just in time <laughs> and when we got to the major thing it started to kind of buzz and we're like oh not getting out so yeah <laughs> we managed to make it which was good but anyway i i have to say something to you guys um i can apologize because i thought i was going to go in there and film a lot and then when it came to it i checked my phone and i did go live that night and i did find out i only filmed i think about one minute and 30 seconds of footage of that for day and I was like are you serious Jasmine you went there you <laughs> walked around one time that's usually what I do I like to walk around the stalls one time and then come back and then film the rest but no I didn't so <laughs> I'm well, I've got some footage to show you so stay tuned for that I will play this probably right now so you guys can have a look of like about and see what it looks like and at least get the gist of the event so without further ado I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to show you what I <laughs> got to film and I'll speak to you all at the end so enjoy <laughs> guys so as you can see there was not a lot of footage so i apologize but at least you got to see the gist of it um i do have some footage from the april dapper day but i did film it in like a weird size thing so i didn't want to add that in but as long as you get the gist of it that's what matters right so yeah i had such a good time and it's so nice to be there and to see a lot of you and it's really nice to see people in their clothes and to see everyone dressed up and looking amazing so it's always nice to see that because i don't get to see a lot of people dressing in 15s or 30s or 40s or 60s very often here so it's always nice to see people dressed up in their clothes but yeah so <laughs> i'm gonna stop ranting and going on in little tangents because I don't know, I don't want to bore you guys, but I did get a few requests to do makeup tutorials and a hair tutorial and as I said, I was a little bit self-conscious about doing a makeup tutorial to be honest because I'm not a makeup artist, I just kind of started doing and figuring out what works for me um, so I was kind of nervous because I'm like, I don't want people to judge me and be like, girl, like that doesn't look great or something, but um. I will be doing one of those in makeup tutorials very very soon i do have a lipstick one and eyeliner one on my channel just now so if you want to go check that out that would be awesome um and then i will start building it back up because i need to actually do that for you guys um so yeah so stay tuned for that i know you did ask for hair tutorial too i will get that done as well i've been planning on trying out different styles as well 
um, but my hair as you know like my hair only comes to about here so it's not that long but I'm going to try and see what styles I can do I know I can figure out some 60s styles too and some 50s like page boy and things like that and some updos so let's see how it goes and then we can go from there <laughs> But anyway, if you like this video, then please leave it a like and a comment and don't forget to subscribe and you can check me out on Instagram. My handle's just Jasmine Chiswell. I will leave it here so you guys can check it out. And yeah, so I hope you have a great rest of your week and have a good first week of November and I will speak to you all back here on Friday. So see you later. Bye. I don't know why my hand went like this. <laughs> Bye.